The trend on big auto anti-robot cleaners is becoming huge, and receiving something as small as a Xiaomi Ultra Slim is refreshing. It doesn't take a lot of space, looks like nothing I've seen, and with the help of the shortest body in the industry, the robot can get under most of the furniture. In this video, I'm talking about my experience with the Mija Ultra Thin, put it into a bunch of tests and challenges. I got this robot vacuum from AliExpress. It is a Chinese version, meaning it speaks Chinese, and when pairing it with the Mi Home app, it only works with the Chinese server select. The box includes the robot, charging dock, a 2-in-1 container, mopping plate, extra mopping cloth, adapter and user manual. The robot does look really flat and nice. There are a couple of buttons on the lid that control the robot and a camera that helps to build them up and navigate around. An optic motion tracking sensor underneath helps with navigation, especially under dark conditions if you prefer to run the robot at night. The lid has a nice glance finish, however, any dust and fingerprints on it are quite visible. Besides an ultra-thin body, another highlight of the Minja Ultra Thin is a built-in 3D front sensor that recognizes small objects on the way and helps to avoid them. If you think it carries a tiny dustbin, it does not. There are two large 500ml containers in the box, a 2-in-1 combined water tank with a dustbin and a separate large dustbin. The brush roll looks similar to a standard roller you can see in many models, but it's shorter and has softer bristles. An electric water pump inside the 2-in-1 container prevents it from leaking when the robot is charging. It also allows you to adjust the water level. The filtration system includes a pre-filter that prevents bigger particles from getting stuck in the main HEPA filter, so you don't need to clean the filter as often compared to other models. In comparison with other robot vacuums, the Xiaomi Ultra Slim looks tiny. It's much smaller than the Roborock S7 and 360 S10 and is the shortest robot vacuum in the industry so far. If you want to use all the features, you would need to install the Mi Home app and pair the robot with your smartphone. I would suggest pairing it with the app before the first run, so you can ensure that the map was successfully created after the first cleaning. However, depending on the lighting conditions, it might take up to 3 cleaning cycles to complete the map. In my home, the map was completed after the first run. For creating the map, the Xiaomi Ultra Slim mostly relies on a camera, meaning it requires the lights to build an initial map. When the map is created, it can be used even at night, though the navigation is not as accurate in the darkness. The robot covers the entire apartment room by room, ending up with an edge clean around the walls and the corners. On low power settings, the battery lasts up to 2 hours, which is enough to clean a 100 square meters area on a single charge. If you live in a large house, the robot will return to the dock to recharge and then continue cleaning from the spot it stopped before. After the first cleaning cycle in my apartment, the dustbin is almost full of pet hair and dust, even though I do run my robot vacuum almost every day. I was really impressed with how accurate this robot vacuum is with furniture and other obstacles. It doesn't bump into things and is very careful around furniture. Another thing I could think of is lack of loud noise. The robot is quiet. Well, technically it's a bit noisy on the highest power settings for sure, but compared to other models it's much quieter in silent mode. As usual, I put the robot through a bunch of cleaning tests on hard floors and carpet. One thing to keep in mind is that normally a robot vacuum doesn't have to deal with as much dust as I use in my test, and I'm really satisfied with how it performs in my apartment, with mostly hard floors. However, it's good to know its limits. Since the robot's brush is really soft, I didn't expect it to agitate things of carpets well. And indeed, the Xiaomi Ultra Slim is about average at picking up things on carpet. There are definitely better robot vacuums if you need the best cleaning performance possible in the first place. The robot struggles a bit at picking up small particles like kitty litter on a low pile carpet and even after two runs left some particles on the carpet. However, the Xiaomi handles pretty well large debris like rice, oats and buckwheat, almost on par with bigger and more expensive models. Surface cleaning is good enough. On a medium pile carpet against larger debris, it did a great job and picked up 98% in total debris, which is on par with the more expensive Dreamy Z10 Pro I tested recently. The same goes for dealing with pet and human hair. It handles both without issues, at least on carpets that are used in my tests. Some types of carpets tend to embed hair deeper in the piles, so result may vary. But at least this device is definitely above average compared to other robot vacuums in this price range. 
The brush design is not tango-free and is prone to wrapping hair, but I would say it is on par with most other robots with a similar brush. Thanks to detachable side tips, cleaning the brush roll takes less than a minute. I like that the roller brush can be fully disassembled, so theoretically you can replace only broken parts when needed. The brush itself looks very similar to a standard roller you see in most robots nowadays, though its bristles are softer, which might be the reason why it struggles to pick up sand of a medium pile carpet. As to picking up debris on hard floor, the major side brush spins too fast and tends to scatter large debris, which causes worse results compared to other Xiaomi models like the Xiaomi Mi Robot Vacuum Mop V. When I run the robot in my apartment, it does the job of picking up my cat's hair and other debris. The container gets full after one cleaning cycle. What I'm saying is the robot doing a good job on hard floors if it doesn't have to deal with lots of debris like in this test. For some reason, the robot doesn't reach corners close enough and leaves some debris near corners untouched. Maybe it's because of the front sensor, which prevents the robot from bumping into things, so it doesn't reach the walls close enough. In a deep cleaning test, the Mija was able to pick up only 30% of sand after one pass, when, for example, the Roomba i3 in this test picked up 50% of sand. However, I have to say that the new Roomba series are well known for their great deep cleaning abilities because of its dual roller design. Compared to other robots on a camera, this one moves smoothly, finds its way around and overall navigation feels pretty accurate. As to coverage, the robot reaches every spot of the room, cleans 100% of the area. The Midja Ultra Slim can vacuum and mop at the same time. The robot is equipped with a combined container for dust and water. The container holds about 150 ml of water, which should be enough to mop a 100 square meter area. The app allows you to switch between three water level modes. However, even on higher water level, it might take the floor barely wet, so I always use it on high water mode. As to performance, the mopping function definitely helps to keep the floors clean for longer, just keep in mind that it will not be able to remove all stubborn stains. For the stains, I used coffee and two types of sauce and let them dry. The robot doesn't provide enough pressure to the floor because of this size, and some competitors showed better results in these tests. It needed four passes to remove the stains, while some other robots were able to remove them in just two passes. But considering its small size, I would say that it's still pretty good. After two passes with dried mud, the robot did a good job cleaning the floors almost completely. Indeed, mopping is not a strong side of the robot. You would still need some manual mopping from time to time to keep the floors clean. But for an everyday mopping, when the robot only needs to wipe off dust and give the floors a clean look, the Xiaomi Ultra Thin is more than enough. When the robot runs around, it gets under the furniture I have never expected any robot to get. It can fit under a 6 cm gap. You may also think, because of the shorter body, the robot would not be able to cross over higher obstacles. But the height doesn't reduce its ability to cross a 2cm plank easily. Even the more expensive Roomba i3 Plus struggles to climb on this plank. The front 3D sensor helps a lot at avoiding objects like socks, toys and cores. I have tested the robot with different types of obstacles and in most cases the system works pretty well. It sees socks and pet balls as well as plant pots. The wax struggles sometimes with the tiniest things and cables, so I wouldn't try the cleaner with cords completely and highly recommend picking them up from the floor before using the robot. The app looks very similar to the one I've seen in the Xiaomi Mi Robot Vacuum Mop. It automatically divides the map into rooms, and if you don't like the way it looks, you can fix it manually by merging, dividing and renaming areas. If you want to clean a specific room, you can select a room or a few to be cleaned or manually draw a rectangle zone that should be cleaned. To prevent the robot from going into some areas, you can set virtual boundaries like a virtual wall or no-go zone. If you have carpets and use mopping, there is a no-mop zone feature that keeps the robot away from the carpeted area when the mopping pad is attached. The robot is surprisingly pretty accurate in obeying the no-go and no-mob zones. The Xiaomi Ultra Slim doesn't save more than one map. If you live in a multi-level house, you will be able to save only a map of one floor. You can still use it on other floors, but extra maps won't be saved. You can schedule the robot to clean at a specific time and day, but unfortunately you can't make the robot clean a specific room on schedule, only the whole house. The app also has a remote control, cleaning history and other smart features you can find in most high-end robots nowadays. Let's conclude. 
The robot performance on carpet, especially with sand, is below average. But surface cleaning is pretty good. Mopping performance is not the best I've seen, but considering its small size, it's a great addition to the bag. I would not recommend the Ultra Slim for large houses. It would be a great choice for a 100 square meter house or less, with mostly hard floors or mixed floors. I can't get enough of how nice and tiny the robot is, especially after having those big auto empty robots in my home. I really like that the Xiaomi Ultra Slim doesn't bump into walls and furniture. There are only a few robots that are as careful with furniture as the Mija, and it's quieter than most robots out there. I'm also impressed with its ability to avoid small objects like socks, toys, cables and so on. In my apartment, with two cats and no carpets, the Xiaomi Ultra Thin does the job. Although I wish it would be a better mob, but it's only because I used to see hybrid robots that are a bit better. Overall, I am satisfied with how the Xiaomi looks and performs, especially considering its ultra slim body. So this is it, thanks for watching, subscribe for more robot vacuum reviews and let me know in the comments what you think about this robot.